Hi, hello you guys, my name is Elf. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I don't think I've done a vlog for probably a month now. The last vlog that I did was just right before we went into a lockdown and now we're out of lockdown. Today is officially the first day that we are finally free and we can move around London. I did stay for the majority of my time home apart from some trips that I had to do in Central to create some content and to shoot some projects. But as I said, first day today, I need to take care of this hair because it has been a mess. My hair has never looked this big and it's so ugly, pretty much ugly in a while. So I'm gonna go to the refinery in central London. It's one of my favorite places to go and I'm gonna fix this. So today is very, very cold. I didn't realize how fast the weather changed and how fast it went into like almost zero degrees. But I'm wearing my diesel jacket because it is one of my favorite pieces this winter and it is very, very warm. Then underneath I'm wearing like a Liver Island fuzzy sweater, my Sandra trousers, suit trousers. And for shoes I'm wearing my Bottega Veneta boots. I know you guys have been loving them so, so much and they're officially back in store. I'm gonna have them linked in the description below. I know I've already mentioned in one of my videos. A lot of you watch my vlogs and don't watch my other videos. So in case you wanted them, now is the time. They're also on sale. The weather is so, so gloomy today. I mean, classic London weather. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. It's Christmas. I keep forgetting that we are in December because I put nothing on my house in terms of like Christmas decoration. Clarence is definitely one of my favorite places to visit around Christmas time. They always decorate it so, so beautifully. And here is at the distance, there is my savior. And that is first haircut after the lockdown done and I feel and look so much better. I went a little bit sore this time because you just never know where we're going to be in a lockdown again. But I'm just so, so happy with this haircut. Like I literally feel like a saint man. I went with uh, Mohammed, which was his first day there, but he killed it, he did exactly what I say. But now I have about three hours still my dinner at night, I'm going to one of my favorite Indian restaurants in London to celebrate the fact that we are, well, kind of free, still should be taking care of ourselves and others, but just the fact that we can officially dine in restaurants, because let me tell you, eating my food for a whole month, it's not fun, I'm not really good at it. Also celebrate something that's happened today and I cannot officially tell you as it's not yet confirmed, nothing has been signed yet, but it is pretty exciting. It is something that I've been wanting to do for many years now, but I never really took the plans. So everything will be revealed soon once everything is confirmed. But as I said, I have a couple of hours to kill now. And I think I'm going to go to Selfridges and maybe check out their sales and just have a look around. I do need to get also myself down here because I am so pale and now that I actually got a haircut and I look somewhat decent, might as well take it all the way there and try and look as good as I possibly can. I have a, quite a few projects to shoot over the weekend and I've been shooting looking like a mess the past month and I've been hating all of the photos I've been taking so hopefully this new glow up should fix it Okay, I just had a quick browse around Selfridges. I ended up filming on my phone because last time I was there, which was just right before the lockdown, I got told off from filming in my camera. So I thought I'll play it safe and I didn't end up vlogging as much as I would want to. In terms of sale, they didn't really have that many things. I felt like I couldn't find the clothes section, but I did find some nice pair of shoes, especially these Prada boots that I was looking for like the past week on Farfetch but I didn't end up getting them. They had them on sale there for, I wanna say 40% off. So I'm really, really tempted to go back and get them, but I did just buy a pair of shoes. So I couldn't really justify the purchase. And I'm so excited for the pair of shoes that I got. If you've been following for a while, you know which one I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you tomorrow. This is so, so pretty and it's just right off Selfridges. Like everything is so beautifully decorated, it really, just feels like Christmas finally. I think being stuck at home for so long, you weren't really getting the vibe, the Christmas spirit. But today, I really felt it. Yeah. 
So we just came for dinner. We're here at this new day. This is their newest location in Kensington, and it's not my first time that I'm ever here. But I've always wanted to come and visit this place because it just looks so grand and so beautiful. I really wanted my first dinner out to be something special, so this one is definitely one of my favorite restaurants in London. So we've got some chili chicken in here, some gunpowder potatoes, which is actually my favorite dish that there is in this um, uh, a chicken biryani, some rice sauce, and some non breads. I'm really, really excited for this dinner. I've actually not eaten since I've had my haircut done. This all looks amazing. Okay, it is very, very dark. I'm not so sure how well the night mode on this camera is, but we finished dinner and then just kind of walked around the Notting Hill area which is actually not near at all just really like aimlessly walking the thing is now you cannot really go to a bar without having a substantial meal so if you want a drink you need to have a meal with it so we finished our dinner and then well we couldn't really stay more so we just ended up walking around for a couple of hours and I was really curious in seeing the restaurant that Rita Ora got a fine on for her 30th birthday I saw that it's in Holland Park and I always shoot in Holland Park like I literally there every weekend but I never knew the area that it was in but yeah I'm just about to head home now and I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here it was a very random day but it is my first vlog coming in I wanna say vlogmas I'm not really sure if I'll continue doing it for 24, 31st 31 days i'm not really sure how many they're meant to be i do have a lot of exciting things coming up so i thought i might as well start vlogging and see how it goes hopefully as the days go by things will get more interesting but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's vlog it was lovely catching up with you guys and i'll see you soon bye bye